I got started rising Hyperland ever since it came out three years ago, and I've gotten to the point now where I can make cool stuff like custom theme switchers, wallpaper switchers like the one that you see here, and all the other goodies that make a desktop environment like notifications, OSDs, which are basically little pop-ups that you get when you change brightness, right? Logout menus, lock screens, privilege escalation password boxes, which basically appear whenever you want to try and access a drive, for example, that's already locked and that you need root privileges to access, and the like. Now this, I can tell you with a comedic certainty, wasn't possible in my first year of rising Hyperland. The kind of setup that I had was simply just a sticky bar up top with three modules and a terminal. I chose one wallpaper and I used that until Kingdom Come. Now naturally, when I saw stuff like what I just showed you on r slash Unix point, I thought it to be hard, impossible even. But today, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case whatsoever, and that you can learn to make setups like this one on your own too. That's right, not just copy the r slash Unix pawn pros, but then actually become a pro yourself and a person who people copy. What I'm about to tell you next is the culmination of over a thousand days of effort, intention, and enthusiasm for one topic and one alone, Hyperland. Which means that if you can't listen to the next five minutes without switching to another tab, getting distracted, picking up your phone or something else, you're screwed. Good luck trying to fix somebody else's dot files. So, <laughs> close everything else, make sure you're paying attention, and let's dive in. Now, the first thing I want to cover here is tutorials. Try to find one good tutorial source, okay? Whether that be my own channel, somebody else's, the Hyperland Wiki, or any other place that's willing to teach you, okay? Make sure you see that the final result that a, any particular tutorial is going to help you get to, and then make a decision as to whether you want to follow it through or not, because not all tutorials are made for everyone. Now, I can tell you so many times where I personally have just decided to pick up some random YouTube tutorial for Rising Hyperland, okay, of a setup that, first of all, wasn't shown on the thumbnail, and second of all, wasn't actually even taught properly. So the guy missed out on a couple of points that he was supposed to explain, and that just led to my setup getting bonked and not really looking as good as it should. So please, for the love of God, make sure that you vet the person who you are trying to learn from so that you don't have to go through the same thing that I did when it comes to tutorials. As for finding high quality YouTube tutorials, I can tell you that there are a couple of places that you can find them. My channel is of course one of them and I'm not afraid to say that. Some people might think that I'm arrogant or I'm bragging or whatever, but that is simply the truth. I have spent quite a lot of time, okay, quite a lot of my every single day putting work into making Hyperland easy to rise for the community. And therefore, I have utmost confidence in my tutorials. So if you want to follow my no BS tutorials or even the two or three hour long series that I've made, go ahead. There I show you the final results you're going to get in the thumbnail. I show you exactly what to do, what not to do, and how you can make setups like this yourself. But actually, there's a little catch, okay? I don't teach you exactly how you can make a custom theme switcher like this one because that would take way too long and that would take, in fact, longer than most people's attention spans, which is barely over 10 minutes, which is why I teach you how to make stuff like this inside of a program, which is the first link in the description called Hyper Accelerator. So inside of Hyper Accelerator, which is this program over here, it's over 10 hours of video training, okay? that I have basically created after spending three weeks of my life, right? I've created these 10 hours of video training which teach you exactly how you can get up and running with Hyperland. So here there's an introduction, then you have asymmetric professional leverage, which is why actually you should rise even if you're completely serious about your work and you don't wanna waste any time. Then you have installing Arch, installing Hyperland, so on and so forth. There's a lot of stuff here, and especially the module that you're most likely looking for, which is the theme switchers module. This alone is a two hour long module which took me a week to create, right? It covers what theme switchers actually are, the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper-based theme switching, which is extracting the colors from your wallpaper and using that to theme your setup, right? That, and let's choose this wallpaper. And how to set up custom theme switching, which is what you see inside of this menu here, from Cappuccino, e-ink, Nord, Noir, to any other theme you could possibly think of. And of course, I give you resources for everything as well. So if you want to learn how to make a setup like this yourself, if you want to follow a quality tutorial that is over two hours long, that has all the depth that you could possibly imagine, can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. Of course, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, you can of course check out the rest of the videos that I have on this channel. They are also quite high quality because I just refuse to make garbage. <laughs> anyway, that is the first thing about tutorials. Now let's switch back to the other theme. Which one did I have? Probably something like Everforest. Okay, 
that should change the theme. There you go. Perfect. So that is the first thing. The second thing is to take things slow. Now, you want to take things slow and you want to let things develop when it comes to your setup. You don't want to try and make the next N4 dots, Noctalia, Ignis, Hide, Dank Material Shell, freaking what else was that? Archcraft, Omarchi. There's so many other pre configured dot files out there and ML4W even. Even. Yes. So you don't want to just become a copy and become another parody. You want to take things slow and you want to go at your own pace, making sure that what you're creating is your own creation. It's not wrong to take inspiration from others. In fact, that's what we all do before our own creative genius comes out. Okay, so it's a good thing to take inspiration, but make sure that you're not just trying to follow in somebody else's footsteps because if that happens, all you're doing is just becoming a copy of someone else, becoming a parody, and that's no fun. Instead, when you can take inspiration from others, create your own thing, okay, it might be copying at first, but then later on, you, your own style of rising emerges, whether that be a mix, a blend of minimalism and maximalism, or whether that be complete minimalist, no bar look with a very minimal font, or something cyberpunk, something very edgy and punk-like, right? You are the one who decides how your setup is going to look. And that can only happen if you allow your own style to develop. If you take things super quickly and then you try to build the next N4 dots in one setting, then that's not going to happen because one, it's too much complexity, and two, you're trying to follow in the footsteps of somebody else. So take things slow, okay? Just try, start with rising the most basic aspects of your setup. That would be your terminal, that would be your waybar, your notifications if you're going to use them, and basically the elements of your setup that you're going to interact with the most. That could also be your web browser. Start with configuring those things, make sure that you get them looking right, and once you feel like they look right, and then that you can take inspiration from some other place and then apply it and then actually make it look good, then go ahead and do that. Don't try and build the next N4 or Celestia, okay, in one setting. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know the setting, right? So that is the second thing, which is to take things slow. Now lastly, the final thing is good enough for me. Now, take this example, okay? I've actually had this happen to me personally, like so many times. Back then, two to three years ago, when I first got started rising Hyperland, basically all I did with my time was spend time on the r slash Unix porn subreddit. And what I used to do there was, of course, go to the top posts, and then I used to look at, look at all the top posts. Now, this is a good thing. This is amazing. You want to feed your brain with quality information so that, that's right, you get quality output, okay? There's a concept in systems thinking called GIGO, okay? Garbage in, garbage out. So for any particular system, if you consider your body as a system, if you feed it shitty garbage, then you're going to get shitty output and shitty behavior, which might manifest in the form of you not being able to perform as well in cognitive ability or just physical ability, right? If you put garbage into a system, you get garbage out. So the best way for you to make good rices is to get good inspiration. But this is only good to the extent that you don't end up comparing your setup to somebody else's and think, huh, mine is better, huh, mine is worse, so on and so forth, right? So the point I'm trying to make here is get a setup that's good enough for you and then don't compare your setup to anybody else's. Comparison is good only in the sense that you do not feel inferior or superior to somebody else, okay? Now the reason why is because as soon as you start comparing, rising just stops being fun. It stops being something that you do because you're passionate about it and it starts becoming something where you actually rise not to get your setup to look good, not to actually enjoy your own setup in the environment that you work in, but to just outdo somebody else. Okay, let's say you compare yourself to someone and then you consider yourself inferior to them, well, you're just going to be working to catch up to that somebody else's shadow. And if you consider yourself superior to them, you've just removed the ability to make an even more beautiful setup that you would like even more by getting complacent with your own success. So don't compare your setup to anybody else's, okay? Don't think of yourself as inferior or superior in terms of your setup. If it's good enough for you, if it gets the job done for you, great. If somebody else critiques your setup, says that it's good or bad, don't listen to them. It's your own creation. You deserve all the rights to your creation and nobody else deserves to criticize it. If they do, you can just ask them to fuck off because it doesn't matter. And that's pretty much it. These are the three lessons that I was able to take from my over thousand days of Rising Hyperan that I could teach you today. And also, if you want to learn how to make custom theme switchers like this one, where you can make custom themes like this and apply them to any app that you so choose. Okay, right now I have VS Codium and my terminal opened up. Let's say I wanted to switch to a Nord theme. Okay, this is what Nord looks like. And then if I wanted to show you Tokyo Night, this used to be one of my favorite themes, still is in fact. This is what that looks like. Let's also pull up HTOP so you can see what HTOP looks like in all of its glory. Okay, Kanagawa. This is what Kanagawa looks like. Absolutely stunning. So if you want to learn how to make something like this yourself, go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's a program where, as I've mentioned earlier, I show you exactly how you can configure something like this on your own 
without having to juggle between 23 different philosophies and video tutorials. Here, there is everything that you could possibly need in order to get started with Rising Hyperline and make your setup look as beautiful as this and maintain it until the end of time. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.